everyone, I'm Russell Mullen with Mother Earth News and this is Emergency Preparedness Week. So today we've been, we're thinking a little bit about, okay, what, what are the things that you need in the case of emergency? We've seen a lot of things going on, uh, natural disasters lately, we've had hurricanes, earthquakes, floods, um, and this got us thinking that one of the most important things that you need for you and your family during an emergency is clean drinking water. And so today we're going to talk about how to make a DIY um, drinking water filtration system. And it's really simple. It's probably only going to take about 15, 20 minutes. So if you can, stick around for the whole thing. And it costs us under $100. A lot of these parts you can get from uh, local hardware stores um, or check out the Mother Earth News store. Um, you can get the filters, the spigots, and everything that you're going to see me building besides the buckets at the Mother Earth News store. And you'll see links for that on the Mother Earth News page. Um, so we're going to jump right into it. Um, basically, my goal is going to be to take water that looks like this, and so I pulled this out of a drainage ditch. It was a stagnant pool of water. Um, this is something that I definitely wouldn't want to drink, let alone put my feet in. So uh, you can tell there's a, a lot of uh, <laughs> turbidity. Uh, we have floating sticks in there. We have leaves. Uh, there was mud in there. Uh, there's a little bit of scum on top. It doesn't smell very good. Um, and the beaker seems pretty fitting because it's kind of a science experiment. So we want to take water like this that's definitely not safe to drink and turn it into water like this that I have no problem. It smells great and it tastes great. So we're going to show you how to do that today. Um, basically we're going to be taking, uh, we have two ceramic filters here and Basically, these filters, they're a ceramic core, a very fine pore structure. And then inside of that, you have a granulated, activated carbon core. Um, and then it's also impregnated with self-sterilizing silver. And the way this works is that the fine pore structure of the ceramic shell, uh, it basically filters out things like bacteria and cysts, uh, while the carbon inside of it holds onto and, and, and basically grabs onto things like chlorine, like pesticides, like herbicides, and a lot of your chemicals, while the silver keeps bacteria from growing and sterilizes the water as it goes through. So we have our filters. You can find these on the Mother Earth News store, and you'll find a link for that in the comments section. And this is an optional feature, but it's a spigot, and this is basically to make removal of the clean drinking water quick and easy. We're gonna be using five gallon buckets. Um, I got these from the local tractor supply. They're food grade and BPA free. Um, good for an emergency situation. Uh, so this is what I'm gonna be using today. For any of you that are opposed to putting drinking water in plastic, um, you can also go to a local big box store um, and just get a really cheap stainless steel stock pot. Um, these are, you know, this is about three gallons. I bought it for $9. All you need is two of them, and they stack right on top of one another, so this is an option as well. Hold on, I'm going to put my thing back on there. There. I just don't want to kill you all with the wind noise. So, basically, all I'm going to have to do I have my two buckets. These cost me $5 a piece with the lid. Um, I'm gonna drill three holes in total and then we're gonna be ready to rock and roll. This is gonna be my first bucket. Just set it on top like that. And this is going to be, these are gonna be the holes for, for my ceramic filters. So they're just gonna go in like here. I'm using a half inch bit half inch to 9 16 would be a good size to use for this part and I'm going to drill through the bottom of this bucket and then into this lid here I'm actually going to do it this way it'll be a little easier and if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comments I'd be happy to answer them um, questions about the build, questions about the filters, um, or just anything. So feel free to throw them up there.
Okay, so we have our two holes that are going through this lid and the bottom of this bucket. And then what I'm gonna do, if you wanna come in here a little closer, I'll show you. I'm gonna put this through the hole. Make sure to get rid of any sharp edges if you have any. And then this comes with a nice little wing nut so that you can hand tighten. It doesn't need to be super, super tight, but just hand tight will be good. Okay, so we have one filter. And can you talk about the filters again? Yeah, absolutely. Um, for any of you that are just joining for the Facebook Live, my name is Russell Mullen. I'm with Mother Earth News, and this is Emergency Preparedness Week. And so I was hoping to show you all how to go about filtering water so that it's potable. And I pulled some water out of a stagnant drainage ditch and we're going to be putting that through this filtration system and turning it from something that is pretty scummy and nasty into drinking water that you could give to your family. All right. And our very own Rebecca Grasslands wants to know how long will it take to filter five gallons of water using this setup? Okay. So each of these filters with two filters it'll take about a, take about an hour to do half a gallon um, so five gallons would take about 10 hours to do uh, and that's yeah so about 10 hours so if you were to fill this up overnight and then leave it and then came back to it in the morning it should all be filtered and Susan Grover wants to know how, how do you get this ceramic thing Okay, so the ceramic... And Rick wants to know what type of filters are you using. Okay, so I'm using Marathon Ceramic Filters, and you can get these filters um, at the Mother Earth News store. Um, there should be a link for that in the comments, or you can go to www.motherearthnews.com slash store, uh, or shop. <laughs> store. Store, okay, slash store. And uh, you can find them on there. You can also find the spigots on there as well. But you can also use this method for your favorite fil um, filter. So there are multiple different kinds of filters on the market and you can find your favorite. These are really great for what I'm using them for. Um, and a great thing about this system is that if you want to up your flow rate, you can also put more filters in there. So you could fit maybe four or five filters in there if you wanted to and that'll significantly increase the amount of water that you can put through this. And Susan wants to know how much for a filter if you just keep it on hand. Okay, so they generally, the filters generally come in packs of two, and that, if you go to our store, costs $82, um, which may seem a little pricey, but they will filter thousands of gallons of water with, um, all you have to do is just clean the outside very softly with a scrub pad, um, and it'll last you thousands of gallons of water. So generally these filters are rated to filter water for about two cents a gallon, which is much, much cheaper than bottled water even. A bottle of water, a lot of times, is, is much more expensive. You can do the math on that one. You go and buy a bottle of water and how expensive that is, so. And Rick wants to know, don't you need to pre-charge the filters with pressurized water? You do, actually. Um, that's a good point, yes. Uh, basically, that all you have to do is have a little, um, well, there's a little rubber piece and then you put it on the, the end of your faucet or you can buy a filter charger as well. So, yes, that's a good point. Um, and it's good to fully wet these. So they'll reach their peak. And you'll see once I pour the water in here, I'll show you how it's dripping through. Um, that flow rate will, will reach its maximum after they've been fully wetted, which is after they filtered about 10 to 12 gallons of water. The filters I'm using have only filtered about maybe four gallons. So the flow rate for that will be a little slower than what its maximum flow rate will be. Do we have any other questions? Oh, um, just a number of people are saying, uh, asking about the filter, where you get the filter. Okay. And a, f a few people from Mississippi are saying they're here, watching from Mississippi. Oh, nice. Well, thank you all from Mississippi. We're glad to have you here. So uh, any of the rest of you on there, feel free to give a shout out where you're watching from. We have people watching from all over the world and I love seeing uh, seeing where people are actually tuning in from. So we'd love to hear from you. And another one of where do you buy the filters and 
Yeah, how do you, how do you get the filters? Okay, cool. Well, there will be a link for where to buy the filters, I'm sure, in the comments, so check it out. Uh, you can buy them at our store, the Mother Earth News store, uh, online. Um, they're $82 for a pack of two. Um, you can also buy the spigot that you're about to see me install as well there. So, all right, I'm going to show you how to install the spigot, and then we're going to dump some water in this thing. So, recap for the filter I used, a half-inch bit. Uh, you could go to 9 16 if you wanted just a little more wiggle room, that'd be just fine. And then for the spigot, slightly bigger, uh, I'm going to use a three quarters inch bit. And this is a butterfly, but you can use a, a drill bit if you'd like. And I'm just going to put this somewhere near the bottom. Make sure that I don't don't drill too far down. But you want it low enough that, down that you're not going to end up with a bunch of water left over. Okay, and you're going to want to make sure to clean up these edges here. You see some of the stuff hanging. Uh, that's going to interfere with the gasket that I have and will likely make it leak. So you want to make sure this is plastic, so it's pretty easy to just um, peel away with my thumb. Uh, if I were using the stainless steel buckets, I'd want to have some sort of abrasive on hand so that I could just give it a quick rub down and get rid of any burrs. So, question about uh, the gasket. Mm -hmm. uh, Kelly Halen wants to know, will water leak around the filters and or the spigot? No, they won't. Not if you install them properly. I can't speak for everyone. Um, for example, I can show you the spigot while I have it here. Uh, you can see that this has a rubber gasket um, and this will make it, it's a really thick gasket. That way it conforms to the curvature of the bucket or whatever, whatever system that you're using. Um, and then you just apply um, pressure with this. You can also buy stainless steel spigots as well, if that's something that you're interested in. So, But you can find these on the Mother Earth News store as well. So. Okay, and we have our hole here. I'll go ahead and install the spigot. Again, that was a three quarters inch butterfly bit. You can just see that I'm attaching the nut on the inside. And again, this doesn't have to be incredibly, incredibly tight, but you want it to be firm so that you don't have any leaks. Now, this is an optional feature. You don't need to add a spigot. Um, if you just want to have clean water in a bucket, that's fine. You want to use a dipper. I prefer the spigot because I can get water out without having to take the top part off, um, as well as without having to put something inside of the water or dump it where I can get con possible contaminants inside of the water. So. I think the spigot is a really good feature to add on. Okay. And Darren wants to know, um, based on the filter's uh, construction, it's different parts, yes. what sort of things can you expect it to filter out? Okay, so we can back up here. I'll actually pull one of these filters out again. They're very easy to install and, and take off. Maybe if you just want to repeat the question. Yeah. What was the question? Uh, what sort of uh, compounds can you expect to filter? To okay. Um, so, uh, someone asked, what kind of compounds can you expect to filter out with this ceramic filter? Um, so, this is a ceramic filter from Marathon. We sell these at, in the Mother Earth News store. There's probably a link for that in the comments. Um, you can, these are rated to filter out cysts and bacteria. Um, they do all their tests, these particular filters, at the end of life, so um, you can get online really easily, um, look at the Marathon filters, and see uh, what their test results say. And they do end of life, which means that they abrade it down all the way to the point where you should be throwing these away, so that the test results that you get, uh, you can really trust in. The ceramic portion is what filters out the bacteria and the cysts, because it's a very fine, um, poor uh, system, and then the uh, activated carbon 
that's inside of this, there's a core. If I were to break it open, you'd see that it has um, granulated activated carbon inside. It grabs onto and holds onto um, things such as chlorine, um, herbicides, pesticides, and things like that. So, and then you also have the self-sterilizing silver that's impregnated with the activated carbon, in, carbon that helps um, kill off uh, bacteria as well. Uh, and this system can also be adapted to your favorite filters. So um, if you don't think that these will meet your needs, then you can also look elsewhere. I think that these are really great filters. They're very well known, um, they're trusted. And so I highly recommend these. And these just need to be hand tight. Okay, you can see I have the two filters installed inside of there. I have my spigot in this bottom bucket and this will be the clean water bucket and this will be the dirty water bucket. I line that up with the holes. And I'll find. And then I'm going to take water that I have like this that I got out of um, a drainage ditch. I found a pool of standing water in there. You can tell it's really nasty. It didn't smell very good. Uh, this probably is much worse than any type of water that you'd be filtering, but I wanted to do worst case scenario. Um, if this were the only water that you had access to, um, and that's the only water you have access to, but these filters can handle it, so. I'll just dump that in there. Oh, I almost forgot. We have a handy bag here. Uh, this is actually a pre-filtration bag. So this is a one micron rating. Uh, this is if you're using really nasty water. Uh, you can see we've used it a little, a few times. It grabs a lot of the particulates, um, even some really large bacteria. Uh, some bacteria is as big as three, three microns and this filters down to one micron. So I'll actually pour this water in there. And I have multiple gallons. You can see the state of the water that I'm getting ready to dump into there. So if you want to look in this, uh, you can kind of see what this pre-filtration bag is really good for. Uh, it catches a lot of the sediment, catches uh, sticks, floating things, um, anything that's above one micron in size. So this is definitely really handy if you're expecting to have really poor water sources to be pulling from. Uh, this is a good first step to go through, especially for emergency situations. A bag like this costs about $16. So. I would recommend getting one of these for your emergency kit. You can just throw it in one of your buckets and then you don't have to worry about it. You'll have it if you need it. It's good to have something before you need it rather than be in an emergency and then realize that you need something after you need it. So. And those are available as well. Yep, those are available um, on the Mother Earth News store as well. And I'm sure there'll be a link for those in the comments. So check that out. And uh, I'll show you here, the give you an idea of what kind of rate you can expect. So. This isn't maximum. This is before it's been completely pre-wet. Um, it'll be a little bit more after it's had about 10 or 12 gallons go through it. So maybe two of these buckets and then you'll reach your maximum flow rate. So Jim has a good question. He said, how are you gonna access that spigot if it's on the ground? Yeah, okay, well I thought of that actually. I was gonna use this bucket here Of course, you can set this on top of any structure that you want, but in this case, actually, we can even put it. And 
put it on a tailgate here. So, um, and, and Jordan just commented. She said she's watching this from Arcadia, Florida, and wishes she would have seen this before Irma. They lost power and water for eight days. Eight days. Yeah, that's a significant loss. So we had someone in the audience just say that they lost water and power for eight days during Hurricane Irma, um, and that she wished she had heard about this before that disaster. And that's the thing about emergency preparedness is about being prepared. So being prepared implies um, going out and making sure that you have the necessary supplies and things that you need before an emergency, um, rather than trying to go out and get it during an emergency. Uh, I put this system together for less than $100. Um, the buckets were $5 a piece with the lids. Uh, you can get the filters at the Mother Earth News store online. Check out the comments. Uh, you can get a pack of two for $82. Um, and then the spigot was $10. So all of that was just, just shy of $100. And uh, I don't know if any of you saw how expensive bottled water and things like that were during some of those hurricanes, but um, this system would probably pay for itself in a matter of a day, as well as really give you peace of mind in an emergency situation where you know that you have the drinking water that you need um, for you and for your family during an emergency. So uh, this is something that I'll definitely have. Uh, it's really easy to keep two bucket, buckets around. You can keep the filters. Even if you don't want to use it every day, you can at least have the supplies that you need to make it. You saw it took me, I could have put this together in about five minutes um, and it's that easy. So I highly recommend um, putting one of these systems together for yourself and for your family. And, and what about for people that want a filtration unit that they use every day? Okay, um, for people that want to use a filtration unit for water every day, this is certainly something that people do use. Um, we chose food grade, BPA free plastic buckets. Um, but if there is a different solution, something that you feel more comfortable with, uh, something that I found to be a really uh, cost effective and easy method is just go to a big box store, um, check out their their stock pots. Now these are the very inexpensive stock pots. They're stainless steel. They're not very thick. They're not that great for cooking, honestly. Um, but these are very these are really useful for what um, for water filtration for making one. Uh, actually, you can see these rivets. Something that you'll want to check is that they fit inside of one another without falling inside of one another. So these handle rivets are really handy because that make it, makes it possible for me to actually take and put one of these inside of the other and it can't go down any further uh, so that you don't have to worry about it like falling in and contaminating your water and things like that. Um, it also comes with a really handy lid so that's really useful. The same exact steps what I showed you to do with the plastic buckets. Um, two to four holes in the top bucket for your filters. Uh, use about a uh, half inch to 9 16 bit and then if you want to have a spigot it's not necessary but it's a very nice option to have um, all you need is a three quarters inch bit and drill through there and then install your spigot and again it would probably only take you five to ten minutes um, and then you have a stainless steel countertop water filtration system in the case of an emergency or for everyday use and so what about the people that are not on the DIY crowd? Where do they yeah. go? We have something for everybody here. So, so for people who may not want to go through the trouble of making their own, we also have an option in the Mother Earth News store of a already pre-assembled uh, countertop water filtration unit. Uh, this is the full unit. You will get the top portion here. It comes pre-installed with, well, not pre-installed, but it comes with the filters for you to install yourself as well as a spigot. Um, I actually took the spigots out, so some of the options aren't there, but it comes with all that. Just check it out on the store. Uh, this is a great thing. It's attractive. One of the features that I really like about this pre-assembled one is that this top bucket has an overhang, and they put this in place for real life situations where you're going to be utilizing water that's probably going to be contaminated with bacteria and things like that where this overhang keeps the water, a lot of these systems, they fit inside of each other. Uh, so if you have water dripping down, it could potentially get into your pure or your filtered water. Whereas this keeps it, see if I can kind of demonstrate here. 
This keeps it from being able to flow into the bottom by creating a lip, almost like a roof overhang. And so it can't get into the pure or the filtered water in the bottom. Yep. Yeah, this and is a great Rick, option. Rick was commenting that he's a he's a serious water drinker, so he needs a bigger unit. Um, <laughs> this is our one and a this is our one and a half unit. So we actually sell two units in the store at Mother Earth News. This is the one and a half gallon units, the 202. It takes two filters. We also have a 402 or 404. And all that means is that um, the, the next size up holds three gallons of water. So twice as much water capacity uh, with the option of putting in up to four filters, which will double the filtration, um, how much it can filter in a given amount of time. So it'll filter a lot faster. So this is the small, the small unit that we have, but you can get much bigger. If you want even bigger than that, uh, then you can also do something that's more DIY. This is a three gallon stock pot. So this is probably about the same size as the bigger unit that we have of this, but you can also go up to four gallons on this. So. And then the five gallon buckets. And then the five gallon buckets, yes. We have, uh, this is probably the biggest capacity, one of the biggest capacities that you're going to get. Well, I mean, I guess if you were doing a really big one, you could do 50, 55 gallon drums. <laughs> You could potentially do 55 gallons. If you have drums. a compound that you need to water. Yes. <laughs> uh, generally, they say that if you're filtering water every day, uh, six gallons will be enough for dozens of people. So, um, yeah. And uh, Sky Massey said, thank you for showing this, this simple filtration system. Mother Earth News wins again. <laughs> well, thank you, Sky. Yeah, we're here to help you all out. Again, um, you know, we've been seeing a lot of things in the news lately about floods, about the hurricanes, about, you know, natural disasters, um, putting people out of their homes, um, making it so they don't have electricity and fresh water. And we would, you know, we just really want to help people be prepared for the worst. Um, and drinking water is one of the biggest things that you can have. If you have drinking water, then uh, that's one thing you can cross off of your list. It's a necessity. So. Yeah, we're happy to have all of you uh, watching today, um, checking in. Uh, please continue with your comments, with your questions. I'll try and get on there later and answer anything that I may have missed during the video. And I guess we're, we're wrapped up. Um, we successfully took pond water and turned it into drinking water. And with this, uh, we'll probably post an update later. Maybe, maybe later today, maybe tomorrow, and show you the end result. Um, so keep your eyes out for that on the Mother Earth News Facebook page. And I guess until next time, um, I'm Russell Mullen, Mother Earth News, and thanks for tuning in. Now you gotta try it. It's good stuff. <laughs>